hey guys welcome back to the channel Donna here um, I'm not sure when this video will make it to YouTube um, but yesterday I filmed the bonsai video so I showed you that trail um, today I decided to film Sunny's which is technically I think it's called Sunny's downhill um, on trail forks but the parking lot that's the secondary parking lot right there I can't tell where I'm pointing um, but you can see like a van there um, further down the road the, the main trailhead um, is down that way here's the sign you come to you can see where we're at um, I would love to get this sign updated to include more of the trails if not all of them make it bigger have information blah 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 so I don't know maybe when I get time and the desire I'll go ahead and start cranking those out I'd also like to uh, put together some actual trailhead or trail signs out there that are more visible and stuff but uh, anyway without further ado Sunny's according to this sign here it's 2.4 miles um, this one's kind of it ebbs and flows it's not all downhill there's some chunk and uh, stuff but uh, hopefully the sun's nice to us because it's kind of right at us um, it is I think close to 4 or 4 30 uh, yeah all right let's go have some fun all right real quick on trail forks under Sarah Park you can see here is the main trailhead parking lot and then you make your way up watershed you'll pass the secondary uh, parking lot right there and you keep continuing on and then right about here is where that sign is and you make the right onto Sunny's. You can see that it is a blue and downhill for the most part and it says it's a mile somewhere thereabouts um, but a uh, really fun trail. So when you finish Sunny's it'll put you at this spot right here on Watershed and then you can kind of make your way back to the parking lot going this direction. Um, so it just basically is an option to do a loop on the shorter side rather than doing like the nine mile watershed. All right, Sunny's. So technically we're on watershed at the moment. Come up here and make a right at this fork. That's Sunny's and then watersheds to the left. Hopefully, the guy that was ahead of me is not in front of me. <laughs> it's very windy. Uh, yesterday's video, the bonsai one, I had tried a new setting on the GoPro and did not like it <laughs> with the wind. I think I shut it off and it was terrible. So hopefully this one's better. Naked man trails to the left. There's stories of a naked man on that trail. section here. Hey. At the end of this video, I might put in some quick shots of the trailhead and where you enter, which direction you go. It's 
so stay tuned for that if you're interested. Nice little down techie section. You go right. Pretty view up ahead. There's two options up here coming up, I think. bypasses heart attack hill and you go I like to go right I think left you end up in the same spot oh Jesus <laughs> just different route I like to mix it up I'm sure the left route is faster as you get that downhill. Ooh, this section here. Got to be careful about gearing. Yeah, nice. I mean, it's way easier. <laughs> Almost lost control. <laughs> Multiple options here. cheat line so you make a right to go up heart attack <sighs> or you can go left and go down watershed so this is going back onto watershed the most popular direction clockwise I haven't been able to ride this section yet but once we get up here to this flat part I'm usually usually good That first part of heart attack, I just, man, I cannot commit. I'm so afraid of going backwards. So anyway, that is Sunny's. <laughs> All right, so parking lot, little picnic table, lots of parking. Then you have the dirt lot that I'm parked in as a additional that actually used to be the original parking lot and then they put this one in but they have restrooms not too bad you can also fit your bike in there if you're nervous about leaving it out um, 
So they do have this sign up here. Pretty basic. Again, like I said, I would love to redo this somehow. Um, figure it out. Even if it's just basic and has the, the more updated trail list, that would be cool. This is where the hiking starts. Pretty sure this is, just, yeah, Sarah's Crack. You got more signage. Here's a, oh, cool. They do have an updated map. It's the first time I've seen that. That's rad. I would have never even thought to just print it off the uh, trail forks. <laughs> oh, cool. So they have a lot of stuff here now. They have the, the green trails, blue trails, elevation, gain and loss, what the direct or uh, distance is. And then if you go right, right here, it's trash can. So if you wanted to ride the trail I just did, Sunny's, <clears throat> you can either start right here and go down this and climb up that way. Or the way I usually go is there's a bike path right here. Right here. You cross the wash. Either way, you have to cross the wash and you just climb up. Usually what happens is, is people do watershed this way, go up, and then that line there is the exit, but it really doesn't matter. You can do it either way because they, they merge up ahead. <clears throat> but you just take this and follow it around to that sign that I showed. You'll pass the secondary parking lot on the left. You keep going on the trail to the left and uh, climb up the hill to where that little sign was that I showed you. One of the loops we like to do right here is another form of trash can, I think. Um, call it Mighty Mo or Mini Mo, or we do that with the kids. Some good hill training, climbing practice. So um, this is the overflow parking. It belongs to the rodeo grounds. They're nice enough to let us use it. Um, if you cross over here. This is considered the green. Most of our green trails, friends of the fair or friendly, we call it. It's a great uh, place to start or even warm up or just practice skills. Um, yeah, friendly fair trail. You can ride it either direction. And then I believe there's four different ways you can do it. There might even be more now. So I flipped the camera around so I can actually see myself. <laughs> Makes it easier to see what the shot looks like. One of the perks of the new GoPro 9. Um, anyway, so Friends of the Fair, you have multiple options, at least three or four that I know of, making it shorter. So the first one is uh, the one mile, which we call our warm-up lap. Um, basically, just you go this way, and then you take that first cut off when you get to the top of this hill over here and come back to the lot. Or you can keep going, you go to the right, and then I think there's like a three mile option or you can make it longer, make it a four mile. Lots of options on just this area over here. Um, but yeah, this is the beginner area. And then across the road, directly across. That way is like the trash can stuff. And then the Punisher Hill is over that way. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for some more Havasu stuff, plus uh, wherever I head to next. All right, so I forgot. I was going to give you some stats uh, according to my watch. It was uh, 3.28 miles from the trailhead where I parked my van um, up the small portion of Watershed. And then you hit Sunny's, make a right, then go back up, get onto Watershed, climb back up, and then back to the trailhead here. So 3.28 miles. Not bad, short little one. If you got only a few, like a half an hour, uh, 45 minutes out of, after work, <laughs> spit that out. Or if you just only have that much time for your ride, that's a perfect option to get in a little bit of mileage, have some fun on the bike and enjoy uh, some natural therapy. Oh, so, all right, you.